Hi ladies and gents, Pond here with another video for Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. And today we are going to be looking at the SX5 Archer hero, the Ashen Verdict. Ashen Verdict is a ranged hero. You're going to probably want to put him either on your middle or back rows. Um, let's have a look at his skills. So skill one is the usual dictator skill, gives the extra 23,100 troops, nothing new there. Skill two, Mark of Judgment. It's a combat skill, effective range of five, and it targets three random enemy squads within effective range. And this is something new. So the Ashen Verdict gains one mark of pursuit for each normal attack by performed by your squad. So each normal attack, basic attack. When marks accumulate to seven, all enemy squads will be dealt an additional up to 400% damage and remove all existing marks. So it basically resets. Now... 400 times 3 is 1,200%. So that is a very good amount of damage. But what you have to think about is you have to accumulate 7 basic attacks. Now, if you don't have any kind of skills that give additional basic attacks, that's going to be 27 in a battle. So effectively, this, would, this should activate 3 times um, and it's going to do you know, 3,600% damage, which is really, really good damage, to be honest. But it is extremely susceptible to countering because if you suppress or disarm the troops in the legion that the, your Ashen Verdict is placed in, then that's then going to reduce the amount of times that they normal attack, and it's going to then reduce the amount of times that this activates. And we're going to see that in a video in a bit. So, um, potentially huge damage but also there is a massive downfall to that skill skill three usual defensive formation gives the extra 50 percent resistance and skill four gives the usual offensive formation gives the extra 50 percent might to the troops in your legion skill five righteous fever um combat skill again so this is susceptible to um silencing and suppression and uh, it's only a 35% chance for the hero squad to have one additional normal attack each turn and it lasts two turns. Also makes them immune to disarm for the duration of the status. So everything about this fifth skill is boosting the second skill. You want to be normal attacking as many times as you can so you hit those seven normal attacks which will then activate the, the second skill. So by... Um, by this skill activating, you're gaining two extra marks, as they call it, for two, you know, because you're getting an extra basic attack on two turns. Plus, being immune to disarm, that's going to stop you from uh, being countered, hopefully. But only a combat skill with only 35% chance for a, for a hero this far into the game, that's not impressive. You know, you would want that skill to be either a prep skill, maybe even a status skill. It's not great. His skill six is um, the awakened skill, giving the 250% da uh, bonus to the skill one to increase your troop, maximize your troop count. Then you've got 15% might and resistance, 15% damage. Nothing special there. He's got high low. He's you know his aim is to do deal damage, so having the damage element in there pretty standard. And his seventh skill is the usual discipline, uh, which is giving 40% extra might. Again, nothing new. Eighth skill, Wrath of the Divine. It's a combat skill again. So all three of his skills are combat skills. For a hero this deep into the game, I find that very surprising. And I'll be honest, because of that, I do not rate Ashen Verdict that highly. Because you would generally expect a hero this far into the game to have at least maybe one combat skill, a prep skill, and a status skill. And if it's a really top-level hero, they might have two status skills. Or, or like some passive skills mixed in. But... Three combat skills, it makes him very susceptible to being countered with, with silence and suppression. What does this skill do, though? This is something new as well. Hero squad has a 35% chance to apply the following conditions to a random enemy squad after every two normal attacks. So, it will disarm, silence, confuse, interrupt, which is would be stopping a combat skill that requires prepping or troop recovery blocked so for you know that would be good against heroes such as skander who have got massive amounts of um, healing abilities probability is determined independently for each effect 
all effects last one turn. So you've got one, two, three, four, five different effects, 35% chance for each one to activate. Plus this is after every two normal attacks. So similarly to, you know, basically you're by activating that fifth skill, which is a low percentage combat skill, you if, if in theory that activated each time or you're getting or you're pairing Ashen with say, Defender, whose eighth skill gives extra basic attacks, or with if you're you've got Dragon Master gear and you compare Ashen with um, with Rose and Blade, who's giving extra basic attacks, then you will see this uh, skill activate more times. In theory, at a minimum, it would be four times in a battle, but then you've only got thirty five percent chance for each of these items activating. So, out of the five you're probably going to get one or two actually activating, right? At best case scenario. And it's even still possible that none of them would activate. So, you know, for an eighth skill, I I just don't think it's great. And it's only, it's targeting one enemy squad. I mean, if this was targeting two or three, it would be OP for sure. But, I mean, I don't know. This, that his whole series of skills are so susceptible so let's let's go and have a look at him in action so um none no one in my state is running him in an active legion right now but last week we were against state 52 and in heroes duel one of their players uh crazy stone eyes was running ashen Ver uh, yeah running ashen verdict in a mixed hero combo with rosen and with spectral reaper now this is probably the best combination you could run ashen verdict in right now anyway because rosen is giving you um has got obviously the chance to remove debuffs which is going to be key because you don't want him getting silenced and suppressed so her blitz skill gives that opportunity plus her fifth skill on the first three turns is giving a 70 percent chance for two basic attacks which is obviously then going to um, activate the marks much quicker you're going to accumulate marks much quicker for Mark of Judgment. You're going to accumulate your own um, basic attacks so that Wrath of Divine hopefully activates more often. And obviously then Spectral Reaper is behind doing lots of damage. Um, let's see that in action though. I don't know why I clicked off that. Um, so this is, two, this is up against a very um, strong legion in terms of its ability to suppress um with its cc the brave has good disarm and silencing scander suppresses with his fifth skill jade eagle also causes um disarm with um his fifth skill so there is a lot of elements to the opponent that could cause serious issues to the way that ashen verdict works and actually you're going to see that in this battle that he basically gets completely uh, knocked out of the battle and doesn't get hardly any uh, skills off. So you've got disarm already from um, the brave skill and then he also gets suppressed by Skander's fifth skill. So he hasn't done basically anything. That's worrying as well that um, the brave's silencing skill is activating and is gonna be active from turn three. So basically, Ashen hasn't done anything for us already. He gets silenced again on turn three, but you do get some basic attacks off. And that does, interestingly, at action Wrath of the Divine. But it doesn't accumulate any active um, counters. None of, From what I can see here, those five effects don't action. Now, he finally does on turn, at the end of turn three, he gets this mark of judgment off and it does do a nice amount of damage to the three opponents uh, legions and then after that pretty much you're going to see all of this legion get silenced and suppressed out of the battle and just get a lot of damage done to him and so he's suppressed again there the back rows disarmed silenced again okay you've just had another one basic attack um he's getting suppressed again by skander there and um there you go there's that suppression there is a basic attack from the back row but then we're very close we're about to lose 
the front row as well. And this is a killer issue as well that um, that fifth skill from um, Jade Eagle is causing disarming, which basically just means that nothing for Ashen Verdict is going to work now. And you've lost that front row. You By losing that front row, you're losing one more um, basic attack each round. So then his Mark of Pursuit isn't going to activate as often. So literally in this battle, he just did nothing, pretty much. He literally did nothing. It, even with the one time that his Wrath of the Divine actioned, it didn't, because it's only 35% chance on each element, it didn't do anything. Now, so he is so he is very susceptible, particularly if that Legion is the one that gets targeted, um, you know, and particularly against the Brave. They, this is a very good combination that Good Shot's using uh, against this. But ironically, in the next round of uh, the duel, he does win, and um, Ashen Verdict gets off eleven skills in this in this one. So we're going to have a look at him again. And this kind of just highlights how many variables there are with different legions. Sometimes two exactly the same legions, two different battles, you can get massive, um, massive differences purely down to which legions are getting chosen. So there we go. Righteous Fever is actually actioned there. So in the previous battle, it didn't action at all. Because it's got two basic attacks, that activated Wrath of the Divine, which did suppress... Skander on the middle row, which means that Skander can't attack him. Then you're getting a mark of judgment. Nice amount of damage there, about 16, 17,000 kills um, across the three legions. That's all on turn one. You're getting some suppression from um, Rose and Blade's second skill as well, which is helping, you know, protect, protect him because uh, Brave is suppressed. His skills aren't getting off as much. Now Scander has managed to suppress Wrath of the Divine with his fifth skill. But we're still getting those extra basic attacks from the front row, which is going to be building up the uh, Mark of Judgment second skill. There we go. Mark of Judgment does activate. So interestingly, um, because... That mark of judgment works whenever you hit seven basic attacks. So, Wrath of the um, he was he was suppressed on his turn, but once so as the middle row hero. But then because after that the suppression ended, um, when Spectral Reaper did his basic attack, that triggered the mark of judgment. So it's kind of interesting the order where you put um, the Ashen Verdict as well. If you put him in the middle row. He's he's a little bit less susceptible, in my opinion, to this suppression, I guess. And, you know, Mark of Judgment again. Of course, Scander has got his eighth skill prepping. It allows dodge on the fifth and sixth turns, but it still did a decent amount of damage to the back row, about 8,000 kills. So you really need that middle skill. You see that middle skill activating again. You're getting Wrath of the Divine, and that is disarming and silencing Scander for one turn. So you can see when Wrath of the Divine actions because you get these little icons. I'm still questioning then. I'm sure uh, Scander has a combat skill, and it actions, so... You know, because he's then suppressed Ashen Verdict. So I'm not 100% sure um, if the game mechanics are working properly. Another Mark of Judgment there. So that's nearly about 17,000. That is about 17,000 kills again from Ashen. And this time, interestingly, they do easily win the battle. So I don't know. I think... I've shown you like the good and the bad of him, really. I, I think for so far into the game, he's not a he's not great, and he's certainly not a like a must-have hero in my opinion. Um, I just 
you know, he's so susceptible to being countered. That is the issue with him. And when he doesn't work, he literally does nothing, like as we saw. Um, so he is just so susceptible to being countered by other opponents. Um, you know, if you put him in the back row, for instance, what if you're up against a cavalry legion that's got the avalanche who can just suppress him for half the battle? Um, yeah, it's a it's a real it's a real tough tough one. Who would he work with though? Um, look, he he will work with currently if it's just archers, he'd work with defender, then ashen verdict in the middle and spectral reaper on the back because Defender's 8th skill is giving extra basic attacks, which is what Ashen needs, so that would be a good combination. Plus then Ashen's Mark of Judgment is doing a lot of damage, which, as you can see, when combined with Reaper's killing ability, they do a lot of damage together. Um, you could potentially do Secura Blossom and then Ashen and um, Defender again. It would be like more defensive, even though uh, you would be hoping that Basically, you're getting your abilities off and doing the damage as early in the battle as possible while Sakura Blossom's giving all that extra damage benefits from her 5th and 8th skills. Because uh, like a Mark of Judgment there could do a huge amount of damage, for instance. Um, Immortal Guardian, Ashen and Jade Eagle would be another option if you don't have Defender and Spectral Reaper, for instance. And then in mixed combos, for those of you with Dragon Master gear, like we've seen... That Rosen, um, Ashen, Reaper combo, and um, or, or you could have Sakura Rosen, um, followed by Ashen on the back row. That's basically if you're going to use Ashen with uh, in a mixed combo for Dragon Master gear, you've got to put him with um, Rosen Blade because of those extra extra basic attacks that Rosen's giving you on those first three turns. It's it's a must. In terms of the skills, when you want to unlock, well. It's a tough one. I think you probably want to unlock... Um, I guess you do want to unlock that 8th skill first and then the 6th skill. In reality, like, is he going to be much use if you have... if you Would you put him in a Legion if you don't have both the 6th and 8th skills unlocked? I'd say it's not going to end well for you. So you really need to just unlock the 6th and 8th skills and, and then he would be usable. And then obviously the 7th skill last... Um, if you have to go with one or the other, then I guess, yeah, do the ape skill first. But I don't know, some people might disagree with that. So Ashen Verdict, not a great SX5 hero, guys. For, in, when, take my advice. You want to wait for the SX6 Archer's Hero. Um, that is going to be an absolute top, top five hero in the game. Um, way better upgrade than the Ashen Verdict. Don't waste your tickets on Ashen Verdict. Save your tickets for... The next season's heroes that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it if you have then please do click on that like and um, i'd be interested to hear your verdicts on this hero please do place a comment down below and if this is one of the first videos you're watching on my channel then why not click that subscribe and ring the bell so you can get notifications whenever i'm dropping videos on the channel which is daily if you could please share my channel in your alliance chat province chat and through line whatsapp via discord whatever you use to communicate with your fellow players in the game that would be absolutely brilliant thank you so much for watching that's it for now i'll see you soon